Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are doing well and uh, making the best use of our classes also in this period. Now, today let's continue the part of uh, the third chapter, the human reproduction. And in the human reproduction, today let's look at uh, the structure of a mammary gland. Now in this topic, already we came across uh, its uh, previous uh, introductory part of a uh, male reproductive system, female reproductive system and uh, the uh, continued part of this is uh, the structure of a uh, mammary gland. Now, when we come across uh, the mammary glands, presence of mammary glands is one of the basic characteristics of all the mammals. These mammary glands are non-functional in the males and uh, they are functional in the females. And uh, at maturity, almost uh, there is a growth of the mammary glands in the female animals. And uh, after parturition, they become more active and hence uh, these mammary glands are also called as a uh, milk secreting glands. Now let's look at the structure of the mammary gland, its parts and its functioning. Now if you look at the structure of the mammary gland, the mammary gland almost as these mammary glands, they are also termed as the breasts and uh, we observe different structures here and uh, in the female animals a paired mammary glands are present which are present in the thoracic region or we also call it as a the chest region the mammary glands are also said to be the breast now in its structure if we look at its structure They are located in the chest region and uh, if we look at its parts, there are certain fatty tissues that we observe in these mammary glands. These are the fatty tissues. So presence of fat is also there and here these mammary glands also have different lobules Uh, certain ducts are also located here so these uh, here we observe the ducts they get branched also And uh, here we observe the terminal parts also. And uh, in these terminal parts, we have certain structures. They are called as a mammary alveoli. Now each of these represents the alveolus where we call them as the mammary alveolus also and these mammary alveolus they are numerous in number and they are present in the 
memory loops so all these are the memory loops so they are present in these uh, memory glands with the uh, numerous in their number and uh, these have the cells also the milk secreting cells are also there now if we look at their labelings now this is uh, the ribs and uh, in between the ribs here we have certain muscles also so muscles are located in between the ribs as the mammary glands are attached to the thoracic region and they are called as these are the muscles present between the ribs and uh, apart from that here we have the large pectoralis muscles these are the large pectoralis muscles large pectoralis muscles are also present here okay now we call this as a, this is the fat which is also termed as a mammary fat and uh, this is uh, the lobe we call it as a mammary lobe and uh, these are mammary alveolus singular is alveolus all together in the plural form we call it as a alveoli then here we have mammary ducts and uh, ampulla a larger part then lactiferous duct and uh, this part uh, we call it as a nipple and uh, surrounding the nipple we have a dark pigmented skin this is called as a areola now if we look at the structure of uh, the mammary glands so mammary glands uh, they are paired structures present in the chest region and hence uh, they are also termed as uh, the breasts now almost if we look at the mammary gland in the humans so here each mammary gland consists of fifteen to twenty mammary lobes fifteen to twenty mammary lobes so there are 15 to 20 mammary lobes which are present in each mammary gland now each of these each of these 15 to 20 mammary lobes consist of sac like structures where we call them as alveoli so each gland consists of alveolus and uh, these uh, alveolus they have certain cells also and uh, these cells are called as uh, mammary cells and uh, they produce uh, the milk also and uh, look at this part so these alveolus they are sac like structures and uh, these sacs uh, when they produce uh, the milk the milk is uh, secreted here by the cells of the alveoli and uh, after secreting it is released into the duct and the next duct we call it as a mammary duct now through the mammary duct when the milk is released it enters into a next 
bulged part which is called as a ampulla also termed as a mammary ampulla now when the milk is released into the ampulla then through the lactiferous duct the milk is ejected out during the sucking of the babies during the suckling the milk is ejected out through the nipples now surrounding to the nipple here we have certain pigmented skin which is called as a areola so areola is darkly pigmented this also consists of a certain glands called as a sebaceous glands and these sebaceous glands are also useful for lubrication of the nipples during the nourishment of the babies when the baby will be sucking the mother's milk okay so this is regarding the structure of the mammary gland and now regarding the part of the mammary gland mammary gland is also called as an accessory gland in the females because these mammary glands are milk producing glands and that milk is necessary for the nourishment of the babies and hence regarding the structure of the mammary gland even this part as far as the theoretical part is concerned this can be asked for a five mark level question also for its uh, representation diagrammatic representation and uh, regarding each of these parts uh, a question will be asked okay and uh, remember what are the structures present in the mammary gland what are its uh, functions and the most important thing here is uh, in this uh, each mammary gland consists of uh, how many mammary lobes so each mammary gland consists of 15 to 20 mammary lobes and what is the major function of the mammary lobes mammary lobes consist of numerous sac like structures called as alveolus and these alveolus consist of the cells and those cells will produce the milk and the secretions of these cells are released into the many ducts many ducts are there and through these ducts uh, through the mammary ducts it enters into the ampulla and uh, through the ampulla by the lactiferous duct the milk is uh, ejected out when the baby sucks uh, the mother's milk so this is regarding the structure now along with that some of the additional parts are also there there is a fatty tissue which is uh, located uh, below this gland and uh, this fatty tissue it uh, protects the alveolar also and uh, as the mammary glands they are also called as the breast they are attached in the chest region and here we have the ribs and in between ribs there are certain muscles also and uh, below this we have larger muscles called as a pectoralis muscles also okay now this is regarding the structure of the mammary gland okay and uh, this is an accessory gland also which is present in the female and in the female reproductive system we come across the accessory glands as mammary glands okay so with this uh, we'll end up the class today and uh, in the next class let's continue the next part so i hope you are doing well read well you can see the video rewind it see it and uh, then frame the questions based on this okay and all the best memory glands At the end of this module, you will be able to Describe the structure of a mammary gland Mammary glands are a pair of external organs of the female They are commonly called breasts Their main function is to produce milk to nurture a baby The mammary glands are modified sweat glands which remain undeveloped until puberty they develop when progesterone and estrogen are secreted by the ovaries. The surface of a mammary gland has a projection called the nipple, which is surrounded by a circular pigmented area called the areola. The mammary glands are composed of glandular tissue and variable amounts of fat. This glandular tissue of each breast is divided into compartments called mammary lobes, ranging from 15 to 20. When a baby suckles, 
milk is secreted and passes through various cavities and ducts within each mammary gland. Let's take a detailed look at the path of milk within a mammary gland. Milk is secreted and stored in the clusters of alveoli within each mammary lobe. The secreted milk passes through the mammary tubules at the end of the alveoli. The tubules of each lobe come together to form the mammary ducts. The mammary ducts enlarge near the nipple to store milk. These enlarged mammary ducts are called mammary ampullae or lactiferous sinuses. These mammary ampullae supply milk to the numerous lactiferous ducts present in the nipple. Thus, the mammary glands of a female support the nurturing of the baby after its birth. 